Artificial intelligence will be able to help spot cancer in patients before they even know they have it. Under new plans being announced by Theresa May today. She's expected to urge the NHS to use it as a new weapon against the disease and prevent 22,000 deaths a year. Well, the Science Minister, Sam Jima, joins us now from Westminster. Is there... A very good morning to you, by the way. Uh, is there new money coming with this announcement? Well, the Prime Minister will be making a major speech on science today. She'll be setting out uh, the money that is going into uh, this record levels of investment, um, but also a vision about the country in terms of how we can deal with major public challenges that our people are concerned about, for example, in the health space. Mm. Uh, so, actually, although you talk about record levels of investment, there's no actual new money to go into this particular announcement, is there? I mean, I, I, I think people in the NHS might say when you talk about cancer, if only there was new money going in to the NHS, patients are meant to start cancer treatment within 62 days of it being suspected. Nowhere in the UK has achieved this for more than two years. There were more than 25,000 late cancelled operations from January to March, the highest since records began, growing shortages of staff, hospitals reporting problems, recruiting cancer doctors. Those are the sorts of announcements on cancer that we really need with the NHS, right. aren't no, they? No, what, what the Prime Minister now is announcing today is incredibly important. There is, we are investing £7 billion more in public research funding. is the highest level for 40 years. And the reason for that is the science that underpins understanding how these uh, diseases occur and how you can treat them quickly is as important as what happens on the front line. Mm -hmm. And there are new technologies, new ways of doing things, and if we're going to stay ahead so that our loved ones, members of our family and our descendants can live longer and have incurable diseases treated, we need to be making that investment now. And that is what the Prime Minister's speech is going to be talking about. Yeah, I mean, great to be able to diagnose cancer earlier, but if you don't have the doctors and the nurses to treat it, and operations are being cancelled and you can't reach the target for treating cancer, uh, that's a massive problem, isn't it? Well, this is all, I mean, no, I think we're, we're conflating two things. Firstly, diagnosing it earlier means that you might be able to deal with it very, very quickly. Uh, the Prime Minister will be talking about our approach to scientists, our approach to people in the NHS. All of those things will be um, addressed in her speech. Now, we have a comprehensive plan towards the NHS and health. But the speech today is about how Britain can be at the forefront of these new technologies that would allow us to help people live longer, healthier and better lives. And I think that is an important vision for the Prime Minister to be setting out.